All right, how are we doing today? I'm gonna use a fire piston today to start a fire. Don't go nowhere. All right, how you guys doing? Uh, this is a fire piston, and uh, basically what it does is it has a seal on here. So a rubber seal, O-ring. Then it goes in a tube. And if you can see, that's compression, that's airtight, and that's what starts the fire. Is when you rapidly compress a gas, air in this case, oxygen, it uh, combusts, it heats up. Like kind of imagine, I don't know, you rubbing your hands together really fast. That's fired by friction. Basically, this is fire, fire by friction. It's the molecules in air coming together so fast that they combust. You can get up to 500 degrees in this chamber from my research. Uh, from my research, from what I can find, is this is a millennia old technology. It, uh, from what I can find on the internet and other books that I've read, uh, it started out in Southeast Asia. All right, like I said, this originated in Southeast Asia from my research. Uh, the generally accepted uh, theory is that it, it, they find it mostly being used by cultures that use blowguns to procure meat sources. So they think that um, it, it was invented on accident probably by someone making a blowgun. But uh, actually I have not found anything 100% on the internet that actually says this is how it was invented. I don't think that it is actually known 100%. But like I said, the generally accepted theory is that it was invented by uh, primitive cultures that use blowguns for um, securing meat sources. So it was somehow made that through that. So basically, what goes on in here is we're going to put a piece of tinder. It can be chaga, which is tinder fungus. I mean, it can be uh, punk wood, really dried out punk wood, char cloth, which we'll be using today as char cloth, and insert it into the tube. And like I said, this is airtight. And once we push this, the gas is rapidly compressed and then ignite the uh, char cloth. There's nothing in the inside of this, there's no batteries, there's no nothing. You're just, this is a primitive way of making fire with utilizing no resource other than air and some kind of tender you know char cloth you're going to use up that but um, first what we're going to do is I keep a pill bottle of Vaseline covered cotton balls just another piece of tender for me to you know if I have a really really wet uh, area that I'm in it, it'll help me get fire you know other than other methods that I have this stuff will burn forever and dry out tender a lot better but I'm going to take my finger and get in some of that Vaseline and I'm going to lubricate the tube here. I'll also keep uh, Carmex, stuff like that. It works great. Anything will work good on this. Tallow. I have a block of tallow in my bag. That will work awesome on this. We get that nice and lubed up. I kind of like to get the chamber a little lubed up too. And this is a little baggy with charcoal in it. See charcoal there? Just kind of pack that in there a little bit, like you're packing a pipe. I wouldn't know anything about that. And then I like to leave that like that so some of the charcoal char cloth is exposed. <laughs> Put it in there. And then you're gonna push this and then you can pull it out really quickly because it'll burn up the oxygen that's in here really fast thus suffocating itself out so there you go that easy and you'll take your knife you'll dig that coal out put it in your tender bundle 
and like you've seen me time and time again blowing my tinder bundle back to life you know get in get your tinder bundle tinder bundle above your head so the heat goes through it and there you go all right thank you very much for uh viewing this video i appreciate all your views all your comments and support hopefully we'll see you out in the woods thanks Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get up. I wanna make a video. Yeah. Not fair.